The holiday season is upon us and people are traveling all over. If you booked a vacation to a resort in the Caribbean, I'm here to help you decide what to pack. What do people wear on resorts? Personally, I've never been to a resort before, so I didn't know what people wore. The short answer is wear whatever you want, but if you want a few pointers, I'll help you decide what to pack, some things that might be optional, some things you really don't need, and what is necessary for you to bring to the resort. My challenge today for myself and for us is to see if we can fit everything in just a carry-on suitcase. So let's see if we can do it. We have just the carry-on here. First thing I want to say, towel. You don't need it, okay? At the resort, they have plenty of towels that you can get by the pool or for the beach. You just use their towels, you throw them in the basket, and then that's that. Look, this is going to take up half of your suitcase. You don't want that. We don't need a towel. They have towels in the room and by the pools, so you don't need this. Next, do bring sun protection. Hat. A hat is always a good idea, especially a wide brim one like this, or if you just want a regular baseball cap to protect your face, that is always a good idea. The sun is closer to the Caribbean, I swear, but this will help you protect yourself. And you can always wear this in the airport, so you don't really have to worry about packing it or crushing it in your bag. So I'm going to set this to the side. I also recommend a pair of sunglasses. Always wise to protect your eyes from the sun as well. It gets super bright, and I don't know if you've ever driven in snow and just had the snow reflecting back at you, but that's what it's like with the sand here because it just is very bright and reflective of the sun. So bring your sunglasses as well. Now let's talk about footwear. First, you want to bring some shoes that are good to wear around the resort, good to wear in tropical weather. I would suggest bringing sandals, you know, it's kind of the sandals vibe there. You don't have to worry about tying up your shoes, bringing socks. You can just stick to sandals if that's what you prefer to wear. Obviously, personal style depends on the person, so bring whatever you want to wear, but I suggest sandals. Now, obviously, I don't really want to wear these on the beach, these nice sandals in the sand and the water and get them wet. So I would also recommend bringing a pair of just old sandals or, you know, shoes like this that are rubber flip-flops that you can just wear in the sand and not worry about ruining. So we have three pairs of shoes so far. Do you need sneakers? Not really, honestly. There's not too much walking around. If you want to work out, I mean, go for it. But honestly, don't fool yourself. You're not really going to work out. Unless you are. Unless you are, then go you. Sometimes I work out on vacation, but at the resort, I didn't. But let's talk about what you should wear. Obviously, bring a bathing suit. I have one bathing suit here that I will pack. I like to bring two bathing suits. That way I can just alternate day to day. One can be drying while well, the other one I'm wearing. But one thing I would note is to try to bring something that will cover you from the sun. I really like this long sleeve because it has just this extra protection all over my arms and I don't have to worry about reapplying sunscreen all the time. So I would recommend something like that if you have it. Don't buy anything new unless you really want to, but you don't need to. You don't need to buy anything new for this vacation. I would also recommend bringing some sort of cover-up, kind of a rule not to wear just like a wet bathing suit alone into the, the dining hall. So I have this long dress that I could wear over my bathing suit, but it's short sleeves, so I don't really like wearing that with the long sleeve rash guard. So for that, I have these pants. So these are really nice. I can just slip them on over my swimsuit bottoms, and then I don't have to sit around in my wet bathing suit. And I'm not breaking the rules either. So they cover up nicely, and... That is what you can wear on the beach. Now let's talk about clothing. I would definitely recommend lightweight fabrics, things like this that are gonna be light and airy. And I also recommend light colors, that way you're not attracting the sunlight to you if you're wearing all black. I also recommend breathable fabrics like cotton, maybe linen, things that, you know, are comfortable for you. And even if you sweat, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> I like to wear things that are white. And if you wanna try to pack all your stuff in a carry-on, it's a good idea to bring something that will match with different bottoms. For example, like this lowy skirt, this is also very lightweight and is really nice to wear in the heat. So we will pack this as a bottom. And then this top or it's a bodysuit, it goes also with these flowy pants, which I actually wore my first day to the resort, which are nice. They're a little bit thick, honestly, but they still fit the vibe. So we have these pants, a skirt, and what about jeans? These are light colored jeans, but when I wear these at the resort, honestly, these get really hot. So I would say pass in the jeans unless you really want to. I didn't wear them and I don't think they are necessary. So we're going to skip on the jeans. Next, I would recommend wearing shorts though, because honestly, I don't feel comfortable wearing shorts all the time here, but in the resort, it's touristy and I wore shorts. So I like these tailored pair. Again, I can wear them with this top, 
You can also wear them with this top. This top is another one that goes with all the bottoms that I'm bringing. I know I said don't wear black, but it's really lightweight. I need to think about like at nighttime because personally, I didn't do anything during the day that required me to put on clothes. I just always went to the beach. I'm a beach bum. So if you're like that, then you don't really need to worry about daytime outfit, a nighttime outfit. Just your swimsuit and a nighttime outfit. These shorts are also nice. I could also wear these instead of the pants for going into the dining hall. So we will pack those. And these nicer shorts that I also like. And then these two tops are also very versatile. They all go with each of the bottoms that I'm bringing. So that's already eight outfits with just two tops, a white one and a black one, and four bottoms. Two pairs of shorts, a pair of Floyd pants, and a skirt. I can also bring this top. This is also light and airy, you know, I think tropical vibes when you're there. This is your time if you want to dress up a little bit, you know? But if you don't want to dress up, you can walk around in a t-shirt and shorts and nobody will bat an eye. Also, this time of year tends to get maybe a little bit chillier at night. I was perfectly fine back in June when I went with no sort of layering. But if you want to bring an extra layer, you don't really need a big jacket or a thick sweatshirt or anything like that. So yeah, again, like fitting with the vibes, I would maybe bring something light to wear at night. But the rest of the year, honestly, for me, it was fine. The coldest place in the resort was the room. So that was resolved by just getting in bed and sleeping. This is another light additional layer. Obviously, it doesn't add that much warmth. But, you know, if you want to add the vibes. So we're going to pack that as well. Another thing I wanted to mention is they do have restaurants at the resort. Different places we can go to eat, which are a little bit more fancy. So my sister and I, we had a night designated to be our little dress up night and dress a little bit nicer. What I wore was this dress, again, very lightweight fabric, light colors, spaghetti straps, you know, not too thick, not too heavy. So this is what I wore on our little fancy night. We went out to one of the restaurants there and it's nice to have a little dress, but if you, again, don't like dresses, then you don't have to wear a dress. Also this dress is, again, Going for the florals, the tropical vibes, the island vibes, spaghetti straps, flowy, lightweight, all those good things. So there we go. We have our clothes. The only thing left to pack is pajamas. So obviously you bring pajamas. And then I always like to sleep on a silk pillowcase or a satin pillowcase. So I always bring a pillowcase with me. <laughs> Another thing I would recommend for the beach is bringing some sort of bag where you can carry stuff around in, especially if you are going to move between the beach and the pool, which probably happen at some point this was nice because the spots under the umbrellas so the shady spots fill up pretty early in the morning so if you want to go out there and reserve your spot you can just get one of the hotel's towels or use this even to just clean your spot under the umbrella so this bag is really nice because it's waterproof on the outside but on the inside it's is more soft and it does have an additional pocket for some smaller things like your phone or the key card so we're gonna pack that as well this also it's nice how it's very compactable. The hotel would probably have shampoo, conditioner, body gel, or bar of soap. But if you want to bring your own toiletries, if it's going to be in the carry-on, remember that it does have to be three ounces or less. You could buy one of these little containers to put them in. Or you could buy your own things in the travel size version, but you don't have to do that. You could also bring a bar of soap. That way it's not liquid, so it's not really counted like that. But again, they have bars of soap, so if you're not picky, I would just not pack it so that space another toiletry which it is very important to bring is sunscreen so again remember the three ounce rule this would be a little bit too big to bring in a carry-on but it's very important to bring sunscreen and reapply it this is another thing that would go in the beach bag if you want to just set that out there so we have the sunscreen we have your sunglasses and some optional things might be if you plan to do water activities like going kayaking, you might want to bring some sort of plastic bag or these cases for your phone, which are waterproof. These are really nice when we went kayaking. We could still take pictures way out in the water, but our phones were safe and not to not get any water damage. So these are very handy to have. We will pack those. Maybe if you want to bring a selfie stick, we played with a selfie stick there. That was fun. Let's talk about other little bags. Do you need a little bag for walking around the resort? Not really, honestly. The only thing I had to carry around was my phone with the key card and I have a wallet in the back of my phone so it works there. You can also just open up the case, put the key card there and then close it back up. So you don't really need anything unless you really want to be hands-free and have a purse, then go for it. But there's nothing you really need to carry around. Do you need hand sanitizer? I would say no because they give you hand sanitizer when you're going into 
the buffet. So you don't really need hand sanitizer, but if you want to bring it, you can. you can throw that in there. You might have it for the plane anyways. And a water bottle. Do you need a water bottle? I brought a water bottle mainly so I could have water on the way there. The bus ride is kind of long, but there I didn't use it at all because they just give you plastic water bottles. So there wasn't really a time when you could just fill up your water bottle. So you're still using plastic anyways. This isn't really saving anything. The only time I did use it was for the trip back. But if you're just going straight to the resort from the airport and straight back to the airport and you're not taking any other trips during your time there, then you might not need a water bottle because they will give you plastic ones. So this, honestly, I wouldn't bring unless you want it for the airport. I do need this right now, though. Another thing to consider is entertainment. You're going to a resort. You'll have plenty of entertainment. But if you like to read books, I like to read books on the beach, you may want to bring a book or bring a Kindle or just read them on your phone, the Kindle app. You do have to consider that there will be music playing. So if you cannot focus at all, if there's any music or sound, then that might not be the best time to read a book. However, if you want to listen to your own music, I would bring earbuds or headphones. If you want to listen to a podcast or audiobook or just your own music. So that's one thing that is optional to bring depending on what you would like to be doing while you're there. That is everything that I would pack. Now let's see, the moment of truth, did we put this all in a carry-on? I think so. Yeah, this works. So we are ready to go. Obviously, didn't pack underwear. Bring your underwear, bring your deodorant, all that stuff. You know what you need. Whatever accessories, that's up to you. I'm not going to tell you entirely what to bring, but there we go. We are all packed up. We are ready to go. If you want to see how my trip at the resort went, I will link the video right here and you can watch my entire review of Jewel Palm Beach Resort in Punta Cana. Have a great rest of your day and I hope you have a fantastic vacation. Bye-bye.